Is the multifamily market about to crash? In this video, I'm gonna cover exactly about what I think, what I'm seeing as an active multifamily investor in today's market and how you can plan. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ellis Hammond. I'm a full-time real estate investor, owner of Symphony Capital Group. We've purchased more than $100 million of multifamily real estate uh, just in the last 12 months. And I make these videos to help real estate entrepreneurs just like yourself raise more money, find more deals, really grow the real estate portfolio so you and I can uh, you know, potentially even partner together in the future. And so if you like this channel, like this content, make, make sure you subscribe and leave me a content, uh, a comment below. But I want to talk about today is 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 what's happening in the market, is it going to crash? Is it still a good time? And just so you know, like we're active in this market right now. We're under contract right now on 200 units in one of the most um, most competitive markets in the country, Dallas, Texas. And so we have a really, really good feel, I believe, on where things are at. And, and the biggest difference, let me just say this, I, I, I don't think we're like about, the whole thing's about to crumble. And I'll tell you why, is because, uh, Two reasons, most importantly. One, there's still lending out there. I mean, back in 2019 uh, when, or 2020 when COVID hit, all the lending dried up. Like people people were not lending. The, the, bridge, the bridge debt markets completely dried up. And that's just not the case today. There are still lenders out there willing to give loans and still believe in the market. So I think um, for, for the most part, there's still great people willing to lend money. There's also a lot of capital. The difference in 2008 and 2009 is that all the capital dried up, like because everyone was so levered uh, and then they just sucked the air out of the economy, everyone lost all of their money. That's really just not the case in today's environment. There's still a ton, a ton of capital that needs to be placed right in today's market. And so I think for those two reasons, this real estate market still has legs and still has uh, some runway. I think the other important thing to know in, in most big markets is that there is still room to grow rents. You know, I think that, that I just saw some recent data that uh, in Texas, like Houston, Austin, Dallas, those are those are good markets where, where rent is continuing to grow. I do think that's a factor to pay attention to uh, of, of rent growth or rent slowdown uh, because a lot of, you know, these value added business models are based on can we grow rents. And so if we see rents begin to stagnate or even begin to dip, that could be an early sign of a recession or where prices either become stagnant or begin to decline. But as long as we continue to see the ability to grow rents, I think that's a great sign that this multifamily market still has a lot of legs to grow. The other big factor in a, in a multifamily crash is what the Fed is going to do. And you know we've, we've seen the Fed continue to raise interest rates over the past several months. Uh, more aggressively than more aggressively than they ever have, uh, but the question is, can they continue to do that at the risk of destroying the economy? And I would say most people think that the Fed will eventually have to stop increasing rates because if they continue to increase rates, it's only going to hurt the economy more. It's going to put people in, in a worse position, and I just don't think this Fed um, has you know really has the balls to be able to do that, right? And so I, I think for that reason. The Fed will have to slash slash rates, uh, make debt cheaper, and continue to give rise to uh, to this multifamily market. But it is something to pay attention to. You know, ultimately, here are my predictions. They're not worth much, but I, but I, but here's kind of how we're planning. We we are thinking that the Fed will continue to raise interest rates, probably at least another 100 to 150 basis points. So. Uh, but then after that, we'll either see a stagnation or begin to slash rates. And so what does that mean for us? That means we, we're just underwriting that. Like we're not going into deals thinking that things can't get worse. Of course they're going to get worse. Of course debt is going to get more expensive. So what do we do? We just plan for that. We back in a higher interest rate six months from now than what we have today, right? We, we back in a higher exit cap, right, the, today our, uh, in three or four years than it is today. And I think if you do that in your underwriting, if you're always planning for a worse economy tomorrow than you have today, that gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility when operating your multifamily real estate projects. I've said this in other videos that I think now is a great time to enter into the real estate market. And the reason is, is because there's a lot of people scared, right? And uh, when people are scared, that just creates opportunity. And I have just noticed even in some of our markets that there are a lot less buyers than there were even six months ago. Now, you could say that's because uh, it's a worse environment. That's true, and you're definitely taking more risk. But, you know, the reality is if you can still find deals that cash flow and you can still find deals that cover your debt and cover your expenses and you have the ability to increase revenue, revenue over the next three to four years, 
the reality is you shouldn't really care what's happening in the market over the next three or four years because if you can buy a real estate deal that works today and you have the ability to increase cash flow over the next two to three years, then you can come out of this recession or out of this downturn into a good market ready to sell or ready to refinance your asset. And so that's our approach. We're trying to find good deals today or decent deals today that cash flow, that cover our debt, cover our expenses. We have the ability to increase revenue by 30% over the next two years and then be in a position in three years from now when the when the economy recovers to be able to either refinance this deal and, and take out our equity and return that back to investors or potentially sell these assets at even higher than what we paid uh, for them today. So that's our business model. And I would highly recommend considering that for yourself. But those are my predictions. I don't think the market's going to crash overall is, 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 my, uh, is my two cents. But uh, we'll see. Uh, if, you, if you think the market's going to crash or not, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this content, uh, make sure you let me know that too. Think wealthy, friends. Cheers.